what's going on you guys welcome back to another video so in this video i want to talk about familiar spirits and how i identified a narcissist through familiar spirits i'm going to give you an example of that in a minute but before i get deeper into the video i just want to say you know some people they may not look at narcissism as you know from a spiritual perspective a lot of them might look at it only as the definition of a personality disorder and even though it is a personality disorder, when you're looking at it from a psychological point of view, you know, I have different ways of identifying things that are going on inside the world. And for that reason alone is why I just can't find myself, you know, only looking at it as a personality disorder. I look at it as something evil, something evil within a spirit. And these evil spirits, these evil spirits are angry spirits. And they will do anything to try to hurt us when we go against their wishes. Now, how I identify narcissists through f those familiar spirits, I'm going to tell you, it was a time that, you know, I've already talked to y'all enough about how I experienced narcissism abuse from two people in my life. And, you know, the power of just knowing, just having a strong spiritual intuition, that's enough to keep these evil spirits away from you. But it's not going to stop them from trying to get hold to you again. And they definitely can't harm you. Because once you know the threat of something, you can better prepare yourself, you know, for what's to come. You can better prepare yourself and protect yourself away from it. But when it comes to people that are close to you, your loved ones and everything, you can't always protect them physically as you can yourself. Because you can, you know, you can teach a person and you can give them the best advice possible on how to protect themselves from toxic people and you know narcissistic people but they still have to go through the experience themselves in order to come out on the end of really knowing what to do so those familiar spirits you will be able to easily identify them after you have experienced it for yourself even when you notice that they're trying to attach themselves to other people and when they attach themselves to other people, a lot of times it's going to end up being your own family members. And when I say that, I say, you know, they'll come into your children's lives. And once you, it's like, it's this is not just like a mother's intuition. It's just like having a strong intuition, period. Because you just know, like the power of just knowing, again, it protects you from the narcissist's plans to destroy you. And narcissists, they hate for you to know what they're all about they hate for you to know their true identity because they know that they don't have a chance of manipulating you but that won't stop them from trying and it definitely won't stop them from trying to get close to your family members and i have experienced that recently like just knowing that they will try to get hold on get a hold on to your family and you know they know that you know what they are trying to do but as long as you don't get in the way of them and their plans they'll keep trying it like they don't care they really don't care about how you feel you know about just knowing who they are they won't stop them from trying and i had to ask god like lord why you know why does the devil keep trying to get a hold on to my family i really had to ask god that and just like i seen this on a movie one time a guy went to go do a confession and he was told that you know we cannot kill evil but we can't protect ourselves from it. And that's why I say it's just the power of knowing what they're capable of. It protects us from them. And they don't like that. They are filled with anger. They're filled with rage. They want to destroy us when they can't have their way with us. And again, all we can do is give the advice to people about how to protect themselves and what to look out for. And, you know, the certain traits of a narcissist or a toxic person so that they can better protect themselves. You know, because... Like, for instance, it can be someone who, you know, is been, you know, they've been associating themselves with a the narcissist. And once they introduce you to the person, it's like your intuition is so strong. Your discernment is so strong. You're going to already pick up on it. You're going to already pick up on the spirit. And so it's like when that radar goes off in you, you're going to be kind of giving them the side eye. You're going to already know. But the person who they're trying to manipulate you know, they got them wide open to the point where they just so blinded by, you know, the love bombing and, and this this fake personality that they've been giving off. 
they can't see it. They can't see it for all the, all of the, um, you know, all the fakeness going on. So it's like, that's the moment that you recognize these narcissists through the spirit. The spirit is so strong because the spirit is angry. The spirit is on guard. The spirit is waiting on you just to say the wrong thing. And those familiar spirits is the same as the spirit that you got from your own narcissist. Or shall I say your own demon that you um, had to deal with. So it's like these demons, they all share that same spirit. And that's the spirit of anger. Like that is the strongest spirit, anger. And within that anger is, you know, jealousy, um, vengeance, rage. You know, just all bad things that they use to try to destroy you if they can't have their way with you. And so that's why I wanted to do this video just to point out, you know, my definition and my take on familiar spirits. I know other people probably have other definitions for it. I already looked it up and stuff like that. And that's just not what I get from it. When I think of familiar spirits, again, I think of how you recognize them through people's personalities. Like people are so quick. You got to think about it. These people that are so quick to get angry and they're anxious. They're so anxious to do something that they shouldn't have to be in such a hurry to do. It's like you have to think about it. Why are they in such a hurry? Like what's the rush? What is the hidden agenda? What do you have in mind for me? What are your plans with me? And why does it always seem like it has to be your way? Those are those familiar spirits that if you have the intuition to really pick up on, it'll better protect you just by knowing. And, you know, again, just like that, that line on that movie, you cannot kill evil, but you can't get away from it. You can kind of understand it even better by just knowing that, you know, being able to recognize it. Once you're able to recognize it, you'll be able to protect yourself from it. You'll be able to put up that shield in between you and that familiar spirit who has the plans to just destroy you. In the end, it's all about control and destroy. Once they gain full control and once they get everything they want from you, they have no more use for you. But once they see that they feel defeated because, you know, you're not easy. They can't get you that easy. It makes them angry and they'll never forget that. They will always have, you know, this spirit of rage and vengeance in them. So that's pretty much it. Thank y'all for watching.